Hey everyone, welcome back to Osmer Pup. We're at the Osmer Hospital, and I just got a call that an ambulance carrying an injured biker is coming in. Oh, there it comes. Oh my gosh, it's Blippi! Blippi, are you okay? What happened? Uh, hi there. I've been better. I was riding around the neighborhood on my bike when I fell hitting a pothole. That sounds really painful. It was. But luckily, the ambulance came really fast. Where does it hurt? My head and my arm and my leg, pretty much everywhere. Don't worry, Blippi. I'm going to fix you right up. I'll give you a full checkup to make sure everything's okay. I hope nothing's broken. Me too. We have to give you an x-ray later to see. First, why don't you just lay down and relax ow, for me? Ow, 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 Let me check your vitals. Those are stable, so at least we know it's not too serious. Here's the checklist we're going to go through to make sure we don't miss anything. Let's mask up and get started. First, I'll use the stethoscope to listen to your heart. That's beating a little fast, but that's probably just because you're nervous. Can you turn around for me so I can listen to your lungs? Your breathing sounds normal. Let's take your temperature with this thermometer. That's 98.6, so it's perfectly normal. I'll use this otoscope to look inside of your ears. There's also a light at the end that I'll use to shine into your eyes to check your pupils. That's important since you hurt your head. Both of those are responding well. Now can you say awe for me? Ah. Uh... Everything looks good in there. Now use a knee hammer to check your reflexes. That one's good. And so is this one. Time for your x-ray. We want to make sure nothing's broken. Stay really still for me, please. All done. Let's check out the pictures. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I see. Okay, great news, Blippi. Nothing's broken. You just have some cuts and bruises that we can easily treat. Phew! That's fantastic, Doc. First, I'm going to clean up your cuts. It's important to make sure there's no dirt from the ground. That way it doesn't get infected. Now bandage it up. How are you feeling? Everything still hurts. I'll give you a shot for the pain and it'll make you feel all better. Okay, if you say so, I'll be brave. <laughs> Don't worry, it'll just be a tiny pinch. There, all done. You did great, Blippi. Gee, thanks. I barely felt that shot. Why don't you try to sit up? Here, I'll help you. Thanks for your help, Doc. I'll be on my way now. Not so fast, Blippi. I need to keep you here a little longer just to make sure you're doing okay. We can't be too careful when there's a head injury. Uh, okay. So I just wait here? Yeah, and to pass the time, I got you this Dr. Seuss Imagine Ink. Woohoo! Thanks! This looks like a lot of fun. It is! I'll help you with it. This Imagine Ink booklet has a bunch of activities inside that will challenge us in reading, writing, counting, and problem solving. We're going to use one magic marker to reveal rainbow colors and complete the challenges. While I pop out the marker, if you're new to this channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any awesome videos. Let's test out the marker on this page. I love these booklets because there's no rules when it comes to coloring. You can color outside the lines and it's fine. And you never have to switch markers, yet you get to color in so many colors. Down here you can see how the book works. It says use your magic ink marker to search for and reveal hidden images. Let's do it! The first page says color the picture and see if you can find all the hidden items listed in the box. Okay everyone, we need to find a red letter A, a green B, five bubbles, and a blue C. Shout it out when you see something! There's the blue, see? 
C is for camel. Very good, Blippi. Oh, there's three of the bubbles. <laughs> yeah, you need two more. There's number four. Nice find. And there's the fifth bubble, as well as the letter B for below. Fantastic job, Blippi. You found everything. That was fun. Let's do some more. It's another find it activity. This time we're looking for eight donuts, a pink letter E, an egg, and feathers. Keep your eyes peeled as I color. There's a donut. Good job. And a second one. You got it. I see the feathers. Whoa, I see donut number three. There's four. And five. That's six. And seven. There's the last one, number eight. Woohoo, you got all eight donuts. There's the E for elephant. Very good. And the egg is on the bottom corner. You did such a wonderful job finding everything. E for excellent. Here's another find it page. We need to find a gray G, a girl, hay, and a blue eye. You know what to do, Blippi. There's the I. It stands for itchy. <laughs> yes, it does. Now, what do you think is itchy? It's the hay. That's what's itchy. <laughs> yeah, nice job. What likes to eat hay? The goat. Goat starts with the letter G. And it's the gray G that we needed. All you need now is to find the girl. There she is. You finished this one super quick. I think we have time for one more. Let's do it. This time we need to find a purple J, a red K, a kettle, and a lion. Let's end on a strong note, Blippi. And the kettle. You got it. There's the red K. K for kick. That must have hurt his foot. I spy the sleepy lion. Me too. You still have one item to find. What's that jar of? It's jam. The purple J for jam. You did it. You found all five items. This booklet was so much fun. And the best part is, there's so many more pages we can do. So if you want to see more, be sure to smash that like button. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit that like button if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to see more. Thanks!